Step one is a very important part of starting your shaving process and that is to make sure that you've either showered or bathed before you start to shave your legs. In the case of not doing that you can of course just use a warm cloth and keep this on your legs for a couple of minutes to soften the hair before you start shaving. This is when you start using your shaving gel and that's an absolute must for when you shave. Dry shaving is a thing of the past and just should not be done. You don't need much of the shave gel and it does go a long way on the legs so be very careful when you're actually opening it up and squeezing it out just to get that nice cover all over the, the skin surface. Fantastic. Now take your Venus Embrace razor Put it into a little bit of warm water to just soften uh, and add a little bit of warmth to your blade. And then start with long gliding strokes. That's it. At just the right angle. Another benefit with the razor is the fact that you've got a ball and finger grip and that enables you when in the shower to extend the reach right down to the ankle when you're shaving. So that's really important too. Even when it's wet you'll find it won't slip off the fingers and it gives you an incredible control actually when you're shaving. So nice long gliding strokes. And remember, around the tricky areas, around the knees and maybe around the ankles, you would leave this to last to allow the warm water and the shaving gel to soften the hair a little bit more. Another important fact with the uh, Venus Embrace razor is that you've got, you'll notice the rounded curves on the top of the head of the razor. This is to enable us to shave under the arm areas and around the knees and around the back of the ankles, those tricky areas where we've got a little bit more angles to get around. Remember when you finish your shaving to make sure you put a moisturiser back onto your legs because basically you're exfoliating, taking off dead skin cells and that adds that conditioning treatment that you need for the summer here in Australia this year.